We're standing at the original site of the Mission Gardens, which were the gardens associated with a convento on the west side of the Santa Cruz. This has been restored with as much integrity uh, to the original design as possible. Where we're standing exactly here is the second plot for the Mission Orchards. Uh, go ahead and start straightening the bolts, Tim. My name is Roger Pfeiffer, okay. and I am the vice chair of Friends of Tucson's Birthplace. I was an educator. I taught in the schools in Tucson Unified, worked my way up to or down to the superintendency and retired about a year and a half ago. Did you already shoot it in, Sergio? This whole area at the, at the base right of A there. Mountain is so close to a, the city, city center. It really is part of the city. That makes it unique in, it, in itself, that a city's 4,000 year old history is laying at its feet. What attracted me to this project is both the historical archeological significance of this area, which is really the birthplace of Tucson, and the educational possibilities, not just for school children, but to educate the community and the visitors to, to the special nature of this place. But it also has economic considerations for ecotourism, for historical tourism, for cultural tourism, which are things that are growing right now. And if we want to impact positively the, the economy of Tucson, this is, this is a way to do it. We're just going to do it the same because when we start sliding over, we're exposing all that. Lloyd Construction, being a, a Tucson firm known for their quality work, stepped up and said they are going to donate the, the, the completion of this project so that we can get the, the fences and the, and the gates up. It's hard to handle with all this oil on it. <laughs> My name is Jeff Dupuy. I'm a project manager for Lloyd Construction. I've been with Lloyd Construction for 10 years now. Today we're out at the Mission Garden at the Tucson Origins job site. Uh, it's a City of Tucson project and we're out installing some gates and fence that Lloyd Construction has donated. The, the donation was to seal off all the wall openings that were left. So in addition to the two gate openings, there was also two wall openings, one on the west side and one on the south side. Uh, we installed Ocotillo fence across those two areas. Yeah, the two sections of Ocotillo fence, about 45 linear feet, and then the two pairs of mesquite plank gates. The gates are eight foot each, so the gate openings are 16 feet wide, and they're six feet tall. Those gates probably weigh 350 pounds a piece. They are heavy. Uh, the gates are a historical recreation of what would have been here, you know, 200 years ago. They're mesquite planks sawn from mesquite logs, unfinished on one side and, and milled on the other side. Uh, it's something that you probably would have seen out here when these gates were originally hung. When the mission stood in its place, this area was used to grow food crops for the people that were living at the mission. There was quince, pomegranate, grapes, uh, peach trees, apricot trees, and then there was also annual gardens that supplied the herbs and, and different things. This is just a very small portion of a 35-acre park. Uh, the Tucson Origins Park extended all the way up to the north, up to where the modern streetcar is supposed to come through. Um, again, this is, this is just a small four-acre parcel of, of the entire site. Is that one or the bottom one? That's good. That's it. We've had three men working on this project for you know, three weeks, so probably 240 man hours. Total amount of Lloyd Construction's donation to this project, including the gates and the Yocotillo fence, is about $10,000. Okay, good, good. Uh, Lloyd Construction is a family owned business that's been in Tucson for 40 years. Everybody that works for us are members of this community. Our families go to these type of places. Uh, the schools that we build, our kids go to those schools. Um, we're just, uh, we're members of the community and, and we like to see the community thrive. Well, the, I think the upside of, of this story is members of the community uh, making good on a project. We really felt it was the right thing to do to, to help the city out and at least get this portion of the work done. All righty. The upside of this story is that we are not letting the economy rule where Tucson is going. That 
when, when times get tough, people find a way to meet the challenges and rise above the difficulties and make things happen. But when it really comes down to it, when things really happen, it, it's because people get involved. And I think, I think this is a model of community involvement, which, which includes contractors like Lloyd Construction stepping up to the plate, organizations like Friends of Tucson's Birthplace, neighborhood associations like Menlo Park, government like the city council, like Pima County, and that creates a synergy. And that's what the new economy, I think, is, has to be about, is creating synergy in new connections and, and working together for a common, common cause.